Local mom is dead and her husband is facing charges after a weekend crash. Investigators say Stephanie Martin died after the golf cart her husband was driving crashed. New at 11, CBS 17's Amy Cutler live at the Wake County Justice Center digging deeper in exactly what happened here. And I know, Amy, this is still under investigation, right? Yeah, it certainly is, Rod. And at this point, investigators tell us they are still working to determine exactly what caused this crash and what happened in the moments leading up to it. They stress more charges are possible in this case. Neighbors in the 12 Oaks community in Holly Springs are in shock. They're still trying to wrap their minds around what investigators tonight are calling a tragic accident. They say the couple, Jeremy Martin and his wife Stephanie, were coming from a party at the clubhouse Friday night around 11 when the golf cart they were in crashed. Stephanie critically injured. She died the next day. Jeremy has been charged with driving while impaired. I'm pretty surprised to hear it. Sad because life is too short to end that way. Anytime we have a death that is vehicle involved, obviously we want to get a crash reconstruction team there. Um, blood was taken from um, the defendant. Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman couldn't say exactly what happened. She tells me it appears they were headed home. The accident took place on Morning Oaks Drive, about a block from where they live. Freeman stressed traffic laws apply to golf carts. This case is a tragedy. Were there any reports of this couple or this gentleman driving recklessly prior to this crash? I can't go into the details of this particular case because it's still under investigation. Holly Springs Police Chief Paul LaCory tells me accidents like this are becoming more common. In the last month alone, EMS had to respond to three such incidents involving golf carts. The police chief telling me that he hopes that this incident serves as a wake-up call. As for Jeremy Martin, he made bond and is expected in court next month. Again, the district attorney saying additional charges in this case are possible. Live in Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.